The Lockheed Model 12 Electra Jr., more commonly known as the Lockheed 12 or L-12, is an eight-seat, six-passenger all-metal twin-engine transport aircraft of the late 1930s designed for use by small airlines, companies, and wealthy private individuals. A scaled-down version of the Lockheed Model 10 Electra, the Lockheed 12 was not popular as an airliner but was widely used as a corporate and government transport. Several were also used for testing new aviation technologies. Topic design and development After Lockheed had introduced its 10-passenger model 10 Electra, the company decided to develop a smaller version which would be better suited as a feeder airliner or a corporate executive transport. At the same time, the U.S. Bureau of Air Commerce had also sensed the need for a small feeder airliner and announced a design competition for one. In order for a candidate to qualify for the competition, a prototype had to fly by June 30, 1936. Lockheed based its candidate, which it named the Model 12 Electra Jr., around a smaller, improved version of the Electra airframe. It would carry only six passengers and two pilots but would use the same 450 horsepower 340 kilowatts Pratt & Whitney R985 Wasp Jr. SB radial engines as the main Electra version, the 10A. This made it faster than the Electra, with a top speed of 225 miles per hour 362 kilometers per hour at 5,000 feet 1,500 meters. Like the Electra, the Model 12 had an all-metal structure, trailing edge wing flaps, low-drag NACA engine cowlings, and two bladed controllable pitch propellers later changed to constant speed propellers. It also had the Electra's twin tail fins and rudders, which were becoming a Lockheed trademark. The landing gear was a conventional tail dragger arrangement, with the main wheels retracting backwards into the engine nacellas, as was often the case with retractable gear of the period. The wheel bottoms were left exposed in case a wheels up emergency landing was necessary, as in the Electra and the Boeing 247. The Model 12's main wing spar passed through the passenger cabin, small steps were placed on either side of the spar to ease passenger movement. The cabin had a lavatory in the rear. Although the standard cabin layout was for six passengers, Lockheed also offered roomier, more luxurious layouts for corporate or private owners. The new transport had its first flight on June 27, 1936, three days before the competition deadline, at 12.12 p.m. local time, a time deliberately chosen for the Model 12's number. As it turned out, the other two competition entries, the Beechcraft Model 18 and the Barclay Gro T8P1, weren't ready in time for the deadline, so Lockheed won by default. The Electra Jr. name did not catch on in the way that the original Electra's name had. Most users simply referred to the aircraft by its model number, as the Lockheed 12, the original Lockheed 12 version, with Wasp Jr. engines, was the Model 12A. Almost every Lockheed 12 built was a 12A or derived from the 12A. There was also a Model 12B, using 440 horsepower 330 kilowatts right R975E3 whirlwind radials, but only two of this model were built. Although Lockheed had also announced a Model 12F, powered by Wright R760 whirlwind seven-cylinder radials, and a Model 12M, powered by 290 horsepower 220 kilowatts Manasco six-cylinder inline engines, neither of these versions reached production. <laughs> <laughs> Operational history Even though the Lockheed 12 had won the government's feeder airliner competition, the airlines mostly rejected it, and very few Lockheed 12s were used as airliners. One notable airline user was the newly renamed Continental Airlines, which had a fleet of three Lockheed 12s that ran on its route between Denver, Colorado and El Paso, Texas in the late 1930s. Another was British West Indian Airways Limited, which flew the Lockheed 12 on Caribbean routes in the Lesser Antilles during the mid 1940s. The Lockheed 12 proved much more popular as a transport for company executives or government officials. Oil and steel companies were among the major users. 
A number were purchased as military staff transports by the United States Army Air Corps, which designated the type as the C-40, and by the United States Navy, which used the designation Joe, or in one peculiar case, R-302. With the arrival of World War II, many civilian Lockheed 12s were requisitioned by the U.S. Army and Navy, Britain's Royal Air Force, and the Royal Canadian Air Force. Two civil Lockheed 12s ordered by British Airways Limited were actually intended for covert military espionage. Sidney Cotton modified these aircraft for aerial photography and, while pretending to conduct ordinary civil flights, used them to overfly and photograph many German and Italian military installations during the months preceding World War II. The greatest military user of the Lockheed 12 was the Royal Netherlands East Indies Army Air Force, which bought 36. Sixteen of these were the Model 212, a specialized version created by Lockheed for training bomber crews, which had a .303 caliber machine gun in an unpowered, partly retractable gun turret on top of the fuselage, a second .303 caliber machine gun fixed in the nose, and bomb racks under the wing center section that could hold eight 100 pounds bombs. The other 20 aircraft were transport versions based on the Model 212. Several Lockheed 12s were used as technology testbeds. The U.S. National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics NACA bought two, adding a center vertical fin to each of them to improve their stability. One of the NACA Lockheed 12s was used to test hot wing de-icing technology, in which hot exhaust air from the engines was ducted through the wing's leading edge to prevent ice accumulation. Three other Lockheed 12s were used to test tricycle landing gear. These had their normal landing gear replaced by a non-retracting version with a large nose wheel and with the main wheels shifted further back on the engine nacellas. The tailwheel from the normal conventional gear was retained, the gear was non-retractable because there wasn't room within the structure to stow it in retracted position. Streamlined fairings were placed on the gear to reduce drag, one of the tricycle gear Lockheed 12s went to the U.S. Navy as the XJ-03 and performed carrier landing tests on the USS Lexington to study the suitability of a twin-engined tricycle gear aircraft for carrier operations. Another went to the U.S. Army as the C-40B, and still another was retained by Lockheed for its own testing. Both of these were eventually converted back to the normal landing gear configuration. Aviator Milo Burcham flew a Lockheed 12A in the 1937 Bendix Trophy race from Burbank, California to Cleveland, Ohio. This 12A had been modified with extra fuel tanks in the cabin, allowing it to save time by making the entire 2,043 mile 3, 88 kilometers trip non-stop. The 12A came in fifth at an average speed of 184 miles per hour, 296 kilometers per hour. This was an impressive performance since the first and fourth place winners were both privately owned Seversky P-35 fighters. Another Lockheed 12A, owned by Republic Oil Company and named the Texan, was modified by aviator Jimmy Mattern for a round the world flight attempt. Mattern filled the 12A's cabin with fuel tanks and removed the cabin windows and door. The crew would enter the aircraft via a cockpit hatch. The aircraft was denied a U.S. permit for the flight following the Earhart incident, however, it was pressed into action in September 1937 in a long-range search effort for Sigismund Levinevsky, who crashed somewhere between the North Pole and Barrow, Alaska. The Texan was outfitted as a luxury transport afterward, and lost in a hangar fire in January 1938. Lockheed built a total of 130 Lockheed 12s, ending production in 1941. With the arrival of World War II, Lockheed concentrated its production efforts on more advanced military aircraft, such as the Hudson Bomber and the P-38 Lightning twin-engine fighter. The Lockheed 12's market was left to the Beechcraft Model 18, thousands of which would eventually be produced. A number of Lockheed 12s have survived to the present day, mostly in private hands. Several of these are still flying. Topic. Variants Topic Civil models Model 12A powered by two 450 horsepower 336 kilowatts Pratt & Whitney R985 Wasp Jr. SB radial engines. 
70 built. Model 12B like 12A, but powered by two 440 horsepower 328 kilowatts right R975E3 whirlwind radial engines. This was a normal civil model, but the only two built serial numbers 1228 and 1249 went to the Argentine Army. Model 12 to 25 last two civilian Model 12s produced serial numbers 1293 and 1294, same as 12A but with Pratt and Whitney R985 Wasp Jr. SB3 engines. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Military models. All of these were based on the Model 12A and used the same engines. C-40 U.S. Army Air Corps 5 Passenger Transport, prototype serial 1247 converted from company-owned 12A, two others built, redesignated UC-40 in January 1943. C-40A U.S. Army Air Corps Transport with mixed passenger, cargo interior, 10 built, plus 1 converted from C-40B, redesignated UC-40A in January 1943. C-40B U.S. Army Air Corps testbed for testing fixed tricycle landing gear, 1 built, converted to a normal C-40A in 1940. C-40D 11 Civil Model 12 is impressed by the U.S. Army Air Forces in 1942, with standard six-passenger interior. Redesignated UC-40D in January 1943. JO-1 U.S. Navy five-passenger transport, one built. JO-2 U.S. Navy and Marine Corps six-passenger transport, five built. XJO-3 U.S. Navy testbed with fixed tricycle gear, used for carrier landing tests and airborne radar trials. One built. R302. One civil model 12A impressed by the U.S. Navy in 1941. This was an anomalous designation, since the Navy had already used R30 for the Model 10 Electra. Model 212. Bomber trainer with bomb racks and gun turret atop aft fuselage, prototype, serial 1243, reserial 212-13 converted from company-owned 12A, 16 others built, one prototype and 16 for the Royal Netherlands East Indies Army Air Force. Model 12-26 Military transport version of the Model 212, 20 built for the Royal Netherlands East Indies Army Air Force. Topic Operators Topic Civilian Aeronorte Aerovias Brazil Associated Airlines Australia British West Indian Airways Limited British Airways Limited A front for the espionage of Sydney Cotton Continental Air Lines formerly Varney Air Transport Mercer Airlines Burbank CA Cruzeiro do Sul National Advisory Committee for Aeronautics NACA Panair do Brasil Canadian Department of Transport Brazilian Ministry of Aeronautics Santa Maria Airlines Topic Military Argentine Argentine Army Canada Royal Canadian Air Force Indonesia Indonesian Air Force Netherlands Royal Netherlands Air Force Dutch East Indies Royal Netherlands East Indies Army Air Force South Africa South African Air Force United Kingdom Royal Air Force United States United States Army Air Corps United States Army Air Forces United States Marine Corps United States Navy Topic Aircraft on display The Model 12A Canadian registration CFCCT Lockheed construction number 1219 is on display at the Canada Aviation Museum in Ottawa Ontario 
This aircraft was operated by Canada's Department of Transport from 1937 until 1963 and surveyed the route of the Trans-Canada Airway. In 1937 it made the first same-day flight from Montreal, Quebec to Vancouver, British Columbia, making five stops en route. A former U.S. Army Air Corps C-40A U.S. Army serial number 38 to 540, U.S. Civil Registration N93R, Lockheed Construction number 1257, is on display at the Yanks Air Museum in Chino, California. A Royal Netherlands Air Force Lockheed 12AC N1306 is on static display at the Soesterberg National Military Museum in Soesterberg, Netherlands. A former Royal Netherlands Air Force Lockheed 12 to 26 C N1313 is on static display at Arlanda Flygesamlinger near Stockholm Arlanda Airport. Swedish airline Airtaco acquired the aircraft in 1953 for newspaper freights. Registration SEBXU was reserved but was never accepted into the registry. Donated to Arlanda Flygesamlinger in 1990. Topic specifications Model 12A Data from FAA Type Certificate Data Sheet TC-616 Crew, Capacity, Weight, Powerplant and Propeller Specifications Only General Characteristics Crew, 2, Pilot and Copilot Capacity, 6 Passengers Length, 36 feet 4 in 11.07 meters Wingspan, 49 feet 6 in 15.09 meters Height, 9 feet 9 in 2.97 meters wing area 352 feet squared 32.7 square meters empty weight 5765 pounds 2615 kilograms loaded weight 8650 pounds 3924 kilograms max takeoff weight 9200 pounds 4173 kilograms powerplant 2 times pratt and whitney r 985 wasp junior sb radial engines 450 horsepower 336 kilowatts each propellers two bladed hamilton standard controllable pitch or constant speed propeller one per engine propeller diameter 8.5 to 9 feet 2.6 to 2.75 meters performance maximum speed 225 miles per hour 362 kilometers per hour 196 kn at 5000 feet 1500 meters range 800 Miles, 1,300 kilometers, 700 nmi. Service ceiling, 22,900 feet, 6,980 meters. Rate of climb, 1,140 feet per minute, 427 meters per minute. Wing loading, 25 pounds per foot squared, 120 kilograms per square meter. Power, mass, 0 0.10 horsepower per pound, 0. 17 kilowatts per kilogram. Notable appearances in media A Lockheed 12 appeared as the French airliner in the climactic final scene from the 1942 film Casablanca. The aircraft carries the Air France Seahorse logo, although Air France did not actually operate the type, a cut out. Stood in for a real Lockheed 12 in many shots. Lockheed 12s have also appeared in movies as stand ins for the Electra 10E used by Amelia Earhart in her round the world flight attempt. Two played this role in the NBC 1976 TV miniseries Amelia Earhart, and another did so in the 2009 movie Amelia. See also Related development Lockheed Model 10 Electra Lockheed Model 14 Super Electra Aircraft of comparable role, configuration and era Barclay Gro T-8P1 Beechcraft Model 18 Related lists List of aircraft of World War II List of Lockheed aircraft List of military aircraft of the United States